Hi friends, it is Crystal and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be sharing some cleaning as well as a little bit of organizing. The cabinet below my kitchen sink has gotten way out of control, so I'm hoping to get that taken care of today as well as some cleaning that just needs to get done around the house. To get things started, I am going to fold the load of laundry that I had washed the previous day. It's basically a load of beach towels, swimsuits, anything from our little weekend getaway to the lake, which we had so much fun. It was so nice to get away. A little hot, but you know, we made it work and it was just nice to enjoy some time as a family. So Mondays are all about catching up when we are gone. So I'm going to tackle this laundry really quick as well as get a few more loads going for the day. I'm hoping that you were able to watch my previous video, which was a home tour, and I shared this new kitchen table that we got. You all, this table has been amazing. Like, it just feels so much more spacious in our kitchen now, and it fits our family of six perfectly. There's even probably room for one or two more chairs if we had some company over. But we've been loving this table. I will go ahead and link that video if you wanna go back and watch our home tour where I talk about it just a little bit more. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am so glad you are joining me for today's video. My name is Crystal, obviously, and I am a stay-at-home mother to four kids. We live in the Midwest and I share all kinds of different content on my channel. Some of my absolute favorite videos to share here are home decor related. I am slowly making way through our home and updating it into more of a modern farmhouse style. So I love those types. Also seasonal decor. I share so many seasonal decor videos with lots of them coming very soon. And then I also just really enjoy sharing our day in the life videos where I just walk you through, record our days at home. I would love if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around and joined our YouTube family here. Before I started recording this morning, I did put our sheets in the washing machine. I will typically run them on the hot cycle with some Tide detergent and some downy fabric softener, which is like my favorite fabric softener. It just smells so good. And so now I'm just going to make our bed and I have to laugh because everyone who I watch making their bed on YouTube make it look so graceful and easy. That is not the case for me. Like, I feel like it is just a struggle sometimes.
I always get lots of questions on the vacuum that I am using. This one is our upstairs vacuum. It is a Shark cordless and I absolutely love it. It works so well. It's just so nice where I can zoom from room to room. And then there's also, so there's a carpet setting as well as a hard floor setting. So I will just switch it depending on which room I am in and it works so well. And the battery really lasts. Like I can do the whole upstairs and then I will recharge it. In my latest vlog, I had shared that I had clipped these flowers from my little garden in the backyard, and a lot of you said that I should remove the leaves part from the water so it didn't get all stinky. And I kind of knew that, but I don't know why I didn't do it. So I'm just going to tackle that really quickly. I'm just pulling off all of the leaves on the flowers and going to just add a couple of more from our yard. This is kind of my first year ever really growing lots of flowers and it kind of inspired me. I'm already thinking about next year and what I all want to plant. But let me know in the comments below if you like to plant flowers or garden because I'm really thinking next year we're going to do a lot of that. Moving into our living room, this space is like our hangout room. Like, and you can tell, like there's pillows and blankets thrown everywhere, toys all over the floor. I mean, it's been a lot worse than this, but um, anyways, I'm just going to go through and tidy everything up in here, including the marble run, which has like a billion pieces. The orange pillows on my couch are ones that I shared in my recent Kirkland's shop with me video. I am obsessed with them. I just love the color paired with the navy. And it kind of got me thinking, wondering if you all would like to see a video of me kind of decorating for a pre-fall, like just adding hints of fall colors without going full out fall decor. So let me know if that is something you are interested in. One of my best kept cleaning secrets is my robot vacuum. I love this thing. I use it every single day. It basically will clean our entire main floor area, kitchen included, but it will just zoom around. So right now while it's cleaning in our living room, I'm actually feeding the kids lunch. I will usually get asked if it is worth it or if it actually cleans and the answer is it absolutely does. Pretty much any time I have it running, when I open up the little like dust cubby, I don't even know what you call that, I should probably know, but I do not. Whenever I open it, it is usually full. It's crazy how gross and how much it picks up.
I did place a Target pickup order for a few organizational things that I will be sharing with you when I get to underneath the kitchen sink there. And when I placed that order, I actually decided to also purchase this glass canister. It is super cool. It's actually pretty big and it has a wooden lid. And I just was really drawn to it. I thought it would look super cute on our kitchen counter next to all my wood cutting boards. And then I could get rid of this red plastic thing of cookies. You know, it wasn't really doing me any favors. So this canister is so much cuter to look at and it's also airtight, which is a double bonus, I think. And I love it. Like it, it kind of inspires me now to always have some fresh baked cookies in our kitchen. Super cute. I do have other canisters that I could use, but they aren't clear. And I feel like you need to see the cookies. Otherwise I kind of forget that they are there. Now on to the organization part of today's video. This cabinet needs some help. And I think I organized this a couple of years ago. It's probably been longer than that here on my channel. And just over time, like things just get thrown in there. And I'm finding that I have like cleaning products stashed in the back that I didn't know that I had. And so I'm just repurchasing and I didn't need to. And then also you can see this little like shelf liner is like completely falling off. It's not attached anymore. And it just, you know, it needs some organization desperately. So what I'm going to do is just pull everything out and wipe it all down and only put in the things that I use on a daily basis. So I really wanna minimize it. Let me know if under your kitchen sink is as awkward as ours. You can kind of see there's plumbing all over the place as well as our big garbage disposal under there as well. It's just, it's a really awkward space. So we're gonna see what we can do today. We do have the little backup pantry closet that I showed you in my home tour video, but I basically store, you know, a lot of our extra food and drinks and small appliances. And I also have a cleaning product shelf in there. And so I do have some extra space in there to add some things. And so what I'm doing right now is just going through everything that was under there and deciding if I can store it in the closet, if it's a duplicate, that kind of thing, but it'll be nice to just pare down what I'm all trying to cram under our kitchen sink. So gross in these baskets. I don't think I've ever cleaned them out. So that was really nice to get rid of those. And then I'm pretty sure we don't need two watering cans in the cabinet. This is everything I'm going to be taking out of the cabinet. The cleaning products will go in our closet, the watering can to the garage, and then these baskets will probably get donated and some of those things will get tossed just because they're gross. But I am getting rid of quite a bit of stuff. So now it's time to kind of put everything back into the cabinet. I'm going to start with this liner that I picked up from Target. It's actually pretty cool. So it's not adhesive but it is kind of grippy on the bottom and it has, I don't know, I just think it'll work really well in this cabinet. And so I'm right now I'm just laying it all out so I can cut the appropriate length of it and get started adding my organizers.
this liner looks so much better. That cabinet has been damaged over the years. These are very old cabinets. And so it's just nice to cover it up and have like a clean slate on the bottom. We do have a fire extinguisher that we always keep under there. And so I just left that, kind of tucked it back where it's easy to grab. And then I'm going to start with this little tiered organizer that I had in there before. It's really the only thing I can find that fits with our garbage disposal right there. And so we're just gonna keep that as is. And now I'm just going to play around with some organizers that I picked up from Target, leaving all of the tags on so I can make sure they fit before you know, we take it off and I can't return them anymore. I thought this one was pretty cool though. So it's like a very slim basket basically where you can pull it out. So I was thinking I could put like garbage bags in there and maybe like my dusters or something. And it kind of fits under the piping there, which is amazing. It is looking so much better already. I have like certain places, like I always have my dishwasher soap in that specific place on that stand. So I, you know, there's certain things that maybe they would work in a different place, but we're just so used to having them there. So anyways, tucking the last few products in and we're going to call it good. Now one little tip of advice if you are organizing a cabinet is to try to stick to the same color scheme. It just makes things look so much more clean and cohesive and organized. As I am cleaning up from my organizing project, I decided to try to use up what was left of the shelf liner in some of my other drawers in the kitchen. So this one is our silverware drawer that we access, you know, all day, every day. And the tray kind of, it slides around when you open the cabinet door all of the time. It drives me crazy. I don't know if I'm missing something or not, but I'm hoping that this will solve the issue. So I'm just going to use the same little gray liner in here and see if that helps out but let me know if you have any other easy fixes i've tried to like prop things in the back that we don't use but it still slides just that little bit to drive me a little bit crazy
So now I have this one completed and then I also went ahead and aligned the other drawer below. I had just enough left to do this one. Also, this one drives me crazy, <laughs> but that is going to be it for today's video. We were able to tackle some organizing, get things cleaned up, as well as caught up on laundry. It definitely feels so good. If you enjoyed today's video, definitely hit that thumbs up button. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.